G'day, Wayne Clements here again for another episode of Arch Studio. Uh, we're going to go straight into a painting, it's a snow scene this time. So what I've done already is I've actually coated our canvas with some white, just a very light coat so our colours are going to blend together very nicely. Um, there's not a lot of darks in here so I've actually covered the whole canvas this time. So we'll go around our board, picking out our colours, got our titanium white, We've got a bit of phthalo blue here. We've actually put a little bit of uh, ultramarine in there as well. Got some yellow ochre that I've tinted. We've got some Volution Violet and I've tinted that as well. I've also got a little bit of uh, orange there which I've just put a little bit of burnt umber in there just to give it a little bit of, little bit of depth, a bit of darkness as well. We've got our burnt umber of course. We've got a bit of black there I've mixed up. Now this one here, this is actually a bit of uh, ultramarine and a little bit of phthalo and a little bit of Aleutian Violet just to get our colour for our shadows on the ground. And this one here is a beautiful colour. These are the W oils and this is absolutely gorgeous. And this is a Dioxazin Purple and we've actually tinted that as well. Very, very strong colour that, so don't need a lot of paint, just uh, sucks up the white. Okay, we're going to go straight into our colours here now and we're going to go around our palette. We're going to pick up a little bit of this Aleutian Violet that I've tinted and we're going to get into this painting straight away. So we're just going to get those colours in there, just blending them down. This is a, a great little exercise, this one, because the one thing I don't want to do is concentrate too much on detail because it's the effect of the painting that I'm after and this, that we don't want it to look too stiff. So I want it to look nice and loose and like it's all happening. Almost like it's moving, like it's real. This is the effect that we're after. So sometimes you've got to let your brush do your work for you. Just let it flow, let things happen. So just get that paint into the canvas, spread it around. And we're going to go over the top of some of those colours there. And we're going to pick up a little bit of this as well. And we're going to come down, straight down here under the, the ground. Get a bit of that colour into the canvas there, that's it. Because we can throw a bit of knife work over the top of this. This is just our background colour. A little bit of that as well. Back over here in the corner, a little bit more pink. Beautiful colour, the old Volition Violet. When it's tinted, it just comes to the most beautiful pinkish colour. So, here we go. Getting into it now. Doesn't look like much at all, and that's exactly the effect we're after. I'm going to pick up a little bit of our darks now. I might even put in a little bit of this over in there, just for and get it. Our light's coming from this way, so we're going to have nice long shadows on this, which is going to look really good. And haven't cleaned our brush, pick up a little bit of our burnt umber there. I'm oh, sorry, our orange that's got a little bit of burnt umber in it. And I'm going to go over this just with this brush and just cover the canvas, just here and there, doesn't matter. Just get into it, give it that little bit of a tap. You can use a smaller brush if you like. And even give it a bit of a swirl, not too concerned about it. Just get that paint on. That's the main thing we're after. Right up the top. And I pick up a little bit of dark now and go back into this corner here. Same brush, haven't cleaned it yet. And just coming across the other side as well. Leave that little bit of violet, that dioxazin purple in there. Beautiful colour. Go up a little bit higher there, now we can get our tissue. Great way to do this, I love the tissue effect. So what I do is I just push the tissue into the centre like so, until I get a little thing like that. Okay. The idea is to keep away from the, the, all the creases in the canvas and hit the smooth parts. So I'm just going to pick up a little few of those colours now and just going to pat them down so we don't get all those little tiny marks in there so it looks pushes it back into the painting. So I just go over it, here and there. Doesn't look too much at all at the moment, but hopefully we can rescue this and turn it into something. Well, we're not rescuing it, it's coming along fine, but it probably doesn't look that good at the moment. Okay, here we go. And maybe just a little bit of that violet back in there as well. We can pick up that and come across there too. So I'm going to put in a few shadows here now. We might even use a, a fan brush or something like that. We can put in a few of these 
this is our shadow colour, our blue that we mixed up. And it's going to be little, all sloping down towards this right hand corner here. So just get those colours in. We'll kind of lay the knife over the top of it very shortly. And we'll get that snow effect because that's the effect we're after. Before we go too much further, I'm going to throw in a few things back in the distance there. Old broken twigs and trees and back in the distance. So grab your liner, twist and turn it. We're not too worried about, like I said, we want it to make it look as if it's alive, if it's moving. So all that stuff, look, just wriggle it around. It makes it look interesting. Broken twigs. We can put a bit of light on there as well, make it look even more interesting. Bit of a tree there, bit of a trunk. Line, and we're going to put in these trees in the background here. So just bring them up. One thing we don't want is too perfect, so try and make them a little bit, I always use the word ratty, but hit and miss, whatever you like. Don't make it too perfect. Hit and go behind trees and things. Get one up nice and high. Bring one out here because we're going to have some big trees in here, so that's the sort of effect we're after. Don't worry about it too much, just get them in. And we can put a little bit of light on there as well, and we're going to pick up our liner to do that. Just another one, so we don't have to clean the brush. That one, we can keep the dark on that. Pick up a little bit of a yellow ochre, maybe a little bit of white. We've got our light coming from this way, so the light source is from left to right. Okay, so that's the side of the trunk that the tree, there you go, the light goes on. And don't forget, it's a snow scene, so we don't want it all over everything, okay? Hit and miss, this is the effect we're after. It always looks better. So just hit those spots, because this is in the background. We have big trees coming up, some birch trees coming up in the foreground. So just hit and miss some of those lights on the trunks. There we go. Looks okay. You're not going to notice it too much. In fact, what we're going to do right now is just go over some of those spots with a little bit of this orange that we've mixed up just to go over the top of the trunks to give it the definition of like three dimensional so that there's trunks behind the tree, there's trunks in front and go right up there. So tissue is the best thing. Look, even pick up a little bit of yellow ochre and we're just about to have a break. But look, play around with it. Get that tissue happening. You're only going to get two or three strikes with the tissue. Don't forget that and then you've got to reload. Otherwise you start taking the paint off. Okay, soften that a little, get some up there as well. That needs a little bit of softening, bit of colour back in there, even a little bit of that. Bit of the old violet back in here. Okay, just going to take a quick break and come back and we'll move into the second part of our painting. We'll see you then.